Good afternoon. I'm standing here at the top of Renfields in the northeastern corner of Bolnor Village, and we're here to have a look at a house in uh, which is in the middle of your screen now, which is number seven Little Pithfield, which is a very, very big uh, five bedroom semi detached house. But geographically, this is without doubt the best part of Bolnor to be in if you're one of those that walks to the railway station. So the road I'm standing on here is Renfields, that zigzags its way all the way back to the thatched house. So if you wanted to walk down to the village square and the, uh, the uh, excellent primary school in Bolnor, geographically that's probably even about half a mile away from here. But obviously if you're walking to the station, this bit of roadway here where these gates are, this, when this is opened up, this will only be for buses and emergency services to get through. So they have these electric bollards in the road, we're told. Um, uh, so sadly, you won't be able to drive through there. Well, the good news is you won't be able to drive through there. So obviously this is not gonna become a busy roadway, but that is that, over the back of that, uh, that hoardings, those houses there are on Sadler's Way, which is at the end of Bolnor Road. And behind these trees is Grosvenor Hall, the old convent. Uh, and if you were children walking to Warden Park School, you'd go through that alleyway and through to Bolnor Road that way. So a great location from that point of view. Uh, according to my Google Maps, so where, from where we're standing, um, the railway station is 0.75 miles. Uh, by car, it's probably about two and a half miles, so it seems a long way away from there. Um, but great location from that point of view. The station is even close, uh, sorry, the town centre is even closer. Like I say, the village square and the, the excellent primary school is about half a mile to our uh, south from where we are. So this is number seven. So it's a very large five bedroom, three storey semi-detached house. Um, when we get up there, I'll show you in a minute. It's got a lot of versatile space there because do you really want five bedrooms and three bathrooms? Probably not, but like most people, you can have uh, several rooms upstairs as a couple of offices. But before we go inside, I'm just gonna show you the garage. You just about see, the owner said we've actually had three cars off the road on this driveway, but it's definitely got space for two very large cars. But this garage offers great potential if you wanted to convert this into another room. So firstly, they're much bigger than average garages. I think these are well over 20 foot long, really high ceilings. So even if you had to bring the floor level up, level with the house, that should be fine. Um, but great bit of space there. And obviously a line ceiling as well. But anyway, that's the garage. So come inside. Now the owner has only uh, bought this house brand new back in 2018. So it's only three years old and it will have the uh, remainder of the uh, 10 year build guarantee that all these builders give them. But come inside. Lucky number seven. Take my shoes off. So first things first, nice entrance hall. Not sure if this is Antico or Cardeen, but it's one of those hard floors, which is uh, really, really um, hard wearing. Uh, downstairs, you've got the, the cloakroom, the downstairs loo and basin. That's that, kick that light off. And then at the front, you've got a nice kitchen with the breakfast table, as you can see. But a really nice because you're all fully loaded, so everything's in there, all the appliances are built in. Nice bit of space, and it's nice to be double aspect as well. So you're looking back over the driveway, and obviously the bay window to the front. And at the back, you've got this good sized living room. As you can see, it's quite a big lounge diner. It's a very big square room, this one. So as you can see, we've got room for a big table and chairs, room for an enormous sofa. And still plenty of space for other bits and pieces. And the garden, I measured the garden, I think it's about 34 foot by 32 foot maximum. But very nice, you're north facing here, but obviously this time of year, we don't get so much sun in the north facing garden. But as you can see quite cleverly, everyone knocks the north facing garden, but that top corner, as this owner has done as well, is your sun trap. So that's gonna get the sun right to the last point of the day, any time of year, because obviously the sun sets in the west. So that corner over there is just a sun trap, as will this patio where it would be in the summertime. But a big living room, handy understairs covered there. So a good bit of space. And obviously the garage was the other side of that wall there. So if you did want to punch through there and convert it into another room, then you could. We've sold a few of these houses. And a lot of people say, you know, years ago, this would have been a bit upstairs heavy, this house with five bedrooms, only one living room. But now we're all working. So many people are working from home. You've got that flexibility. So on the first floor, one bedroom here, nice size with a wardrobe. The only had lots of um, lots of wardrobes fitted as an extra. We're obviously overlooking the back garden there. Across the hallway, got the family bathroom. 
absolutely spotless. And then the front bedroom, again, another double size room, overlooking the front and a full range of mirrored wardrobes in this one as well. So lots of storage. And then still here, follow the corridor around, you've got the little fifth bedroom, which as you can see, being used as a home office, but a nice size room, that's obviously overlooking the back. And those houses there are the back gardens of the houses in uh, Shire Lane and Sadler's Way. And again, another wardrobe. So wardrobe in that one had a cupboard on the landing. And then this is the first of the bedroom suite. So this one is very much the guest bedroom suite. The main bedroom is upstairs. And a nice size room. Again, more wardrobes. So wardrobes in this one as well. So they've all got fitted wardrobe. And this one has its own ensuite shower room. Great big shower room here. I mean, that's an oversized shower cubicle. But lots of room in here. All nicely done. Been really well looked after. It's absolutely immaculate. It's all very neutrally decorated. So if you're not happy with the colouring, just paint it as you go. So that's the first floor accommodation. So remember that, four bedrooms and two bathrooms on this level. And then the top floor. Oh, oh excuse me, slipping as I go up. Here's the main bedroom. So fab room, this one. This is enormous. I mean, this could have easily been two bedrooms up here. And you, you're not going to really pick up on this too well, but... Somewhere between the blue sky and that great big cloud, we've got an amazing view down at the South Downs there. So spectacular outlook down there. And that's looking down in the cul-de-sac. So I started down there where that white car is. Quite nice. You're very much overlooking everyone else who are looking down on them, should I say. But that view is pretty spectacular. But a great big bedroom. Plenty of room for a big double bed. Dressing area this end. So again, more wardrobes. Plus you've got the eaves storage covered there. Plenty of room for a dressing table there as well. And another bathroom with an even bigger shower. But a great bit of space. But there you go. That's the house. So it's just to recap, it's a big semi-detached house. Uh, I haven't got the square footage to hand. If you look on the floor plan, it'd be there. So uh, five bedrooms, two bedroom suites and the family bathroom. The little bedroom or study, or if you had a couple of home offices, you can. Fabulous kitchen, a nice living room with the doors out to the garden, and of course, plenty of driveway parking. And most importantly, it's the location. So if you want a modern house, but you want to walk to the station, this is a nice, easy walk. Should, should take you no more than about 15 minutes to walk down a Hayward Tea station from here. But very easy spot. But there you go. That's number seven, Little Pithfield. I hope you like what you see. If you'd like to have a look, please give our Hayward Teeth officer.